Hi, my name is Nabil, and welcome to this tutorial on importing existing AutoCAD drawings into Revit. So let's begin. We'll create an architectural template. And while that template's loading, I'm going to navigate over to AutoCAD. So I can take a look at the drawing I want to import. So there are two things to take into consideration about this drawing. Firstly, the font in this drawing isn't a true type font, so I need to tell Revit which true type font to replace it with, as Revit can only read true type fonts. And secondly, the border of the text below has been assigned the colour number 1. The line weight of this border in Revit will be controlled by mapping the colour number to the line weight to simulate the use of CTB file, and we'll demonstrate that later. OK. So now what I'm going to do is navigate over to the layer manager. Let's take a look at the layers within this drawing. There are three things to take into consideration. Firstly, Revit will map the line types. And now, if the line weight is not set to default, Revit will use the defined line weight of the layer. Thirdly, Revit will map a line weight based on the colour number, and we'll demonstrate that later on. And we use the border around the text as an example of this, because it's set to colour number 1. So let's minimise AutoCAD. So we're back in the Revit environment. So now let's go to Insert. And let's press this button here. It's the settings to map line weight to colour number. So what we're going to do, anything that has a colour number of 1, i.e. red, we brought in and have a line weight of 6. So this is where you would define your line weights based on your CTB files. So for this instance, I'm going to save as, find a place on my computer where I can save it and access it later on. If you're working on network, it's also good to save this across the network so that it can be used by everyone in the project team if you are using CTB files. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it here because it's convenient for me and I'm going to press OK. So moving forward we're going to start looking at mapping AutoCAD SHX fonts to true type fonts because as I mentioned earlier Revit cannot read SHX files. So I'm going to select the text in this drawing and now I'm going to take a note of the font name and it's set to Romans. Let's close the text editor and minimize AutoCAD. So now what I need to do is look for the file shxfontmap.txt. Once I've found it, I'm going to open it select the last row, hit carriage return and type romans.shx. Press tab and in the second row I'm going to type Arial Narrow because the Arial Narrow is the font I want to replace the romans.shx with. So I'm going to save this, I'm going to minimize the text file and minimize this dialog. So now I'm going to go to view, I'm going to create a drafting view. I'm going to rename the drafting view. Let's call it Roof Detail. It's capital R, Roof Detail. And let's change the scale to 1 to 20 and then press OK. So now if we navigate over to our project browser, we need to check it's there. So under Drafting Views, there we have it, Roof Detail. And it's in bold because it's the active view. Now, let's go to Insert. And let's press Link CAD. There we go. Now we're going to choose the drawing we want to import. And I'm going to change the colours to black and white. And I'm going to turn off correct lines as slightly off axis and press open. So, notice how the border of the text box is thicker as it was defined in the settings earlier. 
Also note that all the text has changed to Arial Narrow. Any other changes can be managed globally in the object styles or locally on a view-by-view -view basis in the visibility graphic overrides.